All right, to get started, I set my timeline to 25 frames per second, but I'd like to change that since my video clip is actually 30 FPS. To fix this, first you'll need to go up to File and select New Timeline. In here, you can give it a new name if you want, but I'll just leave mine as Timeline 2. Then click Use Custom Settings. Now go over to the Format tab where you'll see a Timeline Frame Rate option. Set that to your desired frame rate. I'll put mine at 30 since that's what my original footage is. Alright, there we have a new timeline with the right frame rate, but all our footage is still missing. To get it back, go up here where you can switch timelines with this drop down. I'll go back to my first one. Now just drag to select all the footage you'd like to move to your new timeline and copy it either by right clicking your footage or using the Ctrl C keyboard shortcut. Then go up here to switch back to your new timeline and simply right click inside your blank timeline and paste your footage. Okay, now when I play this back, my video is playing properly at 30 frames per second. If you want to confirm the frame rate's actually been changed, just go over to the Deliver tab, where you'll see that all your timeline footage will get exported at your new frame rate. However, if you click the Settings button, it might look like the frame rate wasn't changed, but don't worry, it ignores this project setting and will export it at the right frame rate as seen in the Deliver tab. Alright, and that's all from me, so thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.